Uh, I want to start off with a chant. Everybody repeat after me. Everyday shootings are everyday problems. Oh, that was a little weak, everybody. I need, I need stronger than that. Everyday shootings are everyday problems. Now, make sure everybody watch to hear us. Everyday shootings are everyday problems. My name is Trevon Bosley, and I'm here with the brave youth leaders of St. Sabina. And I'm here to speak on behalf of Chicago's youth who are surrounded and affected by gun violence every day. I'm here to speak for those youth who fear they may be shot while going to the gas station, the movies, the bus stop, to church, or even to and from school. I'm here to speak for those Chicago youth who feel their voices have been silenced for far too long. And I'm here to speak on behalf of everyone that believes a child getting shot and killed in Chicago or any other city is still a not acceptable norm. Most importantly, I'm here to speak on behalf of my brother Terrell Bosley who was shot and killed while leaving church April 4, 2006. Just to give you guys a few stats from Chicago, since 2006 there have been more than 5,850 people shot and killed in Chicago. And since 2012 there have been more than 16,000 people shot. Now let me repeat that one more time. Since 2006 there have been more than 5,850 people shot and killed in Chicago. And since 2012, there have been more than 16,000 people shot in Chicago. These stats are not just numbers in the speech. These are mothers, fathers, sons, and daughters on a societal proportion. These are lawyers, doctors, artists, musicians. And more than anything else, these are lives cut short due to senseless gun violence. I must add, though, Chicago's violence epidemic didn't start overnight. It was caused by many problems that we are still not de dealing with to this day. When you have a city that feels it's more important to help pay for a college and sports complex rather than fund uh, schools and impoverished communities, you have gun violence. When you have a city, when you have a city that feels we need more divvy bikes in downtown Chicago for tourists rather than more funding for workforce programs that get guys off the streets real jobs, you have gun violence. When you have an Illinois state governor, Bruce Rauner, who feels that funding anti-violence programs is, I quote, non-essential spending, you have gun violence. When you have elected officials who feel that getting a few extra dollars from the NRA is more important than their actual constituents, you have gun violence. And when you have a president that would rather constantly talk about and belittle Chicago's violence than rather than send funds and resources, you have gun violence. It's time for the nation to realize gun violence is more than just a Chicago problem or a Parkland problem, but it's an American problem. We are here demanding that this country, that we get the... We are here demanding that we get what we as these people of this country deserve. We deserve a right to have a life of fear without fear of being gunned down. We can only live in this so often called the American dream if we have the proper gun legislation and resources to do so. And in Chicago's case, no more frivolous spending on tourist attractions, but rather we need to spend on the people that actually live there. It's time to care about all communities equally. It's time to stop judging some communities as worthy and some communities as unworthy. It's time to stop judging youth that look like me or my brother at, that come from impoverished communities any different than anyone else. It's time for America to notice that everyday shootings are everyday problems. I'll close with this quote by Martin Luther King Jr. which said, we must accept finite disappointment but never lose infinite hope. I said this to say no matter the hurdles we may face along this journey, we must remain hopeful and we must continue to stand together and fight for the lives that we deserve. Thank you.